What's up, guitar players? We are back again with another... This time we're looking at John Frusciante's solo on Californication. This is an awesome solo. Very simple from an intermediate or advanced standpoint, but still so emotional and tons of feel. This is a solo geared towards maybe a high beginner or a low intermediate, depending on how many solos the student has under their belt already. So without further ado, let's go. Alright, so our first phrase is going to start on the 10th fret of the B string. We're going to start with our second finger right there. The second phrase is pretty much exactly the same as the first, except for the rhythm changes a little bit. So you get to that 11 that bend a little quicker than the first time. So both of those together will sound something like this. So that second one that I just played there, that second phrase is you're playing it on the upbeat and then you're coming down on an upbeat as well. So down, up, up, up. If you listen to the recording, you'll pretty much get a feel for how it's supposed to sound. All right, so our next phrase. All right, so in real time, a little bit faster. Alright, recap. Cool, moving on to our third phrase. Kind of outlining basically in our, an A major arpeggio right there. A major, I guess, six. And then bending to the seventh, a major seven there. So it's pretty cool. All right, cool. So moving on to our fourth phrase, we're going to do another position shift right to the 17th. So we're going to catch the 17 with our pinky. I like using my pinky. You don't have to. You can start with your third or second finger if you want. Um, but I like giving myself options here, giving my pinky some exercise as you already know. So, here it goes. Cool. All right, then the next phrase right after that, it's, it's kind of attached to this one. We're gonna do a little scream here. 
where you're hitting the nine and then you're bending on the 12 at the same time. So watch this. So remember, I'm keeping, I'm, I'm catching that 12 right underneath my pinky before I go to the nine to end it. We'll, we'll do a recap of just the fourth and, and this last phrase, the fifth one, together to see how they sound. So watch. All right, um, so we're pretty much on our last phrase here coming in. We're going to go right to, back to the 14 and do a nice bend and release. faster all right let's do a recap we're going to recap the from the third phrase so the third fourth fifth and this last one the sixth okay so check it out 